Sub-Saharan Africa suffers a high burden of infectious diseases, yet it has low capacity to manage it. The Southern African Center of Excellence for Infectious Diseases uh, aims at building capacity through training and research to create that capacity to uh, detect, identify, and monitor these infectious diseases. Timely identification and monitoring of infectious diseases reduces the cost to manage compared to managing a full-fledged outbreak. We set up SARSIDS in um, January 2008 uh, with a specific objective of um, working towards um, uh, enhancing the uh, capacity of Africa for research on infectious diseases of humans and animals within the ecosystems or environment of Africa. We started with institutions within SADC and went through a, a system of a peer election and um, those institutions were derived from the medical sector and from the veteran sector and with our wildlife um, uh, uh, colleagues. In the countries where we started, which are Tanzania, Zambia, Mozambique, DRC, and South Africa. Those are, those are the founding um, uh, countries, the institutions of those. They had to have both medical and veterinary universities, medical and veterinary national research institutions, and, and the wildlife. The Royal Vet College has been involved with SATSIDS for a couple of years now. And what I really like to see was this very, very strong African leadership, which helped to train and build so many people from PhD level to postdoc levels. And these people have now moved into very senior positions. I think this is an excellent uh, framework and opportunity to create capacity in the country which will then pre um, have the critical mass to bring through further people who can change things and build further capacity. So I'm very happy to, to be here again and further interact with SASIDS. The Centre of Excellence will help to provide uh, support to these uh, postgraduate students. And SUA has been striving to keep the quality of graduates uh, from postgraduate students. So we believe that this additional uh, quality assurance requirement for the SACDS supported student will add value to the overall objective of SUA to ensure quality uh, graduates so that they can fit in the market and be professionally. Another support that SUA will provide for a SACID Center of Excellence to, to deliver the objective is to facilitate the uh, quality of the program. Currently, we are reviewing all the postgraduate uh, degree program and uh, SUA will give all the support to make sure these postgraduate programs are accredited at national level as well at regional level. Thanks, the incentive is very important to my college because it will improve capacity in the detection okay, and the identification of uh, infectious disease. And not only that, it will also build the capacity to my college okay, in terms of uh, human resource and also in terms of uh, equipment and infrastructure. We need to make the whole process transparent. Uh, I think you know, the opportunity should be there and you know, whether you're poor or whether you're rich it should not affect you. So the, you know, the Sassad's ace it means it doesn't matter if you come from a fisherman's family or from a prime minister's family. You should have the same opportunity. Um, and this, this particular scheme 
um, provides that opportunity. So you get the very best in your country. There's a very huge gap between men and women. And without having a special affirmative action, surely we want to bridge this gap. So what the World Bank is doing and the center has uh, plans to do is what is being recommended, to have specific affirmative actions to uh, reduce this uh, gender gap between men and women. And I think it is important because we have very few scientists out there. And without having a special uh, uh, deliberate action to bring many numbers of women into sciences, surely science will be male dominated. And yet we think women also have a huge role to play in sciences. This is a great initiative to increase our capacity uh, for the prevention, detection and also the monitoring of infectious disease. It's mostly a training program, but we believe that this program will deliver future uh, scientists who actually can undertake some leadership uh, in some of those uh, projects. So it's definitely founding which will uh, increase uh, our human capacity. Tanzania needs to be prepared. And how do we prepare? Because we don't know where these diseases are going to come from. We have to keep on looking for them. If we are ready for them, and we keep on looking for them, then we shall be able to identify them when they come. We know what we need to do to be able to detect them. So we have to have the capacities developed. We have to have the labs put up. We have to uh, train personnel to be ready for that. We have to put up uh, uh, systems for referring specimens as soon as possible because you may not have everybody uh, in these places having the knowledge. The knowledge may be in Dar es Salaam, it may be in Mohimbiri, it may be in uh, Sokoine University, but there has to be a way that samples are collected and passed on to these labs where the diagnosis has got to be done as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm.